And with a golden ticket on the line, this homie still wants to bring 33 hog riders. Even more with the Royal Champion ability. Maybe even more in his clan castle. Let's find out. Welcome back, ladies and gentle toast. Today in the world's monthly qualifier. Next matchup, we got VM Legacy versus VAE Sports. This is the upper bracket round of 32. And let's see who's going to be winning upon this one. Fluxy going for pure speed here as we start the match. Root Riders are in overgrowth. Popping the Warren ability. Double Rage in his way through. He wants that clan class triple and he wants it fast. Pretty much all the equipments you would expect. He deploys the queen by herself on the bottom side of the base here. It is a little awkward. We're skipping this toxic core, but it's just what you got to do. Another rage on the top side. We still got one more rage for later. Overgrowth going to expire in a few seconds. And he does not have a second one. Cool, cool, cool. Pop that queen ability. Get the healer puppet out. We're going to freeze the town hall and one of the poisons. Monolith might be the last thing to go down. As everybody skips around the outer edges, we are losing a lot of troops. This is actually getting a little scary. He does have the king giant gauntlet. Could that carry him through quite a bit of the core? Maybe. One super minion just banging away at that king. Need the king to take the town hall. That would be ideal. And he should with the phoenix. Royal champion has abilities. Got a freeze and a rage. I think he's looking good. Question right now should be time. There's the rage and the freeze. RC ability going to carry him through the rest of the attack. It's going to be about 90 seconds. A little bit more. 91. 92. RC actually dies. That's going to slow him down another 10 seconds. Oh, gosh. Hold on, dude. This could be a fail. Queen gets bamboozled. Monolith. Monolith trying to save the base. 99%. We got three wizards and a unicorn. Fluxy. 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 One P.E.K.K.A. and a dream. One P.E.K.K.A. and a dream while the healer distracts. No way. No way. Swing away. <laughs> he gets it. Jeez, that was close. But Fluxy starts this match with a three star. Dorbs is in for VAE Sports. He's also going with Root Riders. Got to try to beat Fluxy's speed. And Fluxy, unfortunately, it was looking fast until the end. Everything got slowed down. He finished with a minute 55 triple for VM Legacy. Let's see if Dobbs can beat that. King on the right side. Already going to ability early. Not going to be able to have the Giant Gauntlet and the Barbarian King to carry the attack later. Okay. Off the ward ability. Got the Healing Tome down here with the Eternal Tome. Queen's got a Frozen Arrow. And an invis vial. No healer puppet to help her out, but the Royal Champion has the new stuff. Siege Barracks Pekka's with a skeleton spell on the left side of the base. Sure. Royal Champion was deployed early. We're going to slowly make our way toward the town hall. Only one rage left after using that one in the core. Alright. Queen kind of dipping out by herself toward the right side, but with the frozen arrow, she'll slow down that monolith. She's looking great. A lot of root riders. Alive and healthy on the left side of the base with extra Valkyries that came out of the Siege Barracks, I believe. We gotta get through the Town Hall, the Barbarian King combo. If we can survive that Giga Bomb, Giga Poison, then it should be smooth sailing for the rest of the attack. Extra Super Barbs on the back side of the base. Pop that RC ability, drop the last Freeze Build. No Tornado Trap there to slow him down. So it's looking quick for Mr. Dorbs. Gonna be less than 90 seconds here and quite the time lead for VA Esports. After the first round of attacks. Ariel with the second attack. Both teams are going to be going for pure speed until somebody fails. Let's see what Mr. Ariam can do with the Root Riders. Siege Barracks on the left. Root Riders in on the top left. Queen with a frozen arrow. No healer puppet. We got a healing tome. We got the new stuff on the champion. Pop that ward ability. Double rage set up. Here we go. CC troops going to be coming on out. He uses skele yeah, skeleton spells to help distract the monolith, the barb king, the warden statue, the tesla farm. Okie dokie, another rage going into the core of the base. There is the invis tower by the town hall. No overgrowth spell on this attack. King and royal champion making their way to the eagle artillery, doing the disco dance there in the tornado trap, spinning around in circles. Some valks and hogs coming out of the siege barracks to help support a little bit. Not a single soul going for this town hall, though. And he used all the rage spells early. Could be a little, a little scary. Last skeleton spell deployed. We got one freeze left and that's it. We already popped the giant gauntlet. Where's the road champion? She's in the mix there by the ricochet cannon. Still is the fox alive. We pop her ability. Okay. 
Okay. This is either a three star or a one star. There's gonna be like no in between. He, all four heroes are kind of healthy. I think he's okay. Yeah, queen ability should carry. RC can activate the invis. We're actually just gonna freeze it. We're just gonna freeze it. Pop that queen ability. Down goes the town hall, and this is gonna be wrecked. I think. Yep, down goes the expo. Nothing can stop it. GG's. But it is getting slowed down here. The time is important. The RC dies. The Warden and the Queen get slowed by the Giga Poison. King takes his time getting through those walls. And this is almost on par with Fluxy's speed. VM Legacy struggling a little bit in terms of speed. Max knows, is it? Next attack from VA Esports. Hobie Max. I miss playing with Max. Good guy. Got a Root Rider spam from the upper side of the base. King on the right side with the wall break. He meant to funnel that gold mine. It didn't go down. Siege Barracks way on the left with a super bar to help out. Okay. All right. Triple Ask Golem CC. We got the poison. We got the rage. We do have no overgrowths. What in the Barbarian King jump in action is happening there? King Pop's ability is going to slap the Royal Champion. Silly. Somehow bounces the cannon over the wall from the splash, even though there's a full tile gap between the wall and the cannon. Dude, the giant gauntlet is broken. Rage again for the Root Riders, and I'll zoom out so you can also see the Queen working by herself on the bottom side of the base with the Healer Pup and a Rage spell. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Max has a very unique way of deploying his spam. It's more like a calculated precision spam rather than a true spam. But it's looking like it's going to work. Queen Pop's ability. She'll take the Town Hall. A lot of his Root Riders died early, but the Royal Champion broke. As usual, the Royal Champion going to carry. Pops her ability. Got the Haste File. Got the Hog Puppet. Royal Champion never dies. The Barbarian King even still alive. And it's another fast attack for VA Esports, man. They keep the lead by quite a bit. On average attack duration, 30 seconds. Dogstar with the third attack for VM Legacy. They need to start getting quick with it. Uh... So they switch to Hero Dive Lalo with the first 10 seconds just dropping Sneaky Goblins. I feel like they might be giving up on time. And they're just going to hope for a defense. I don't know. I don't know. King going in there. Log Launcher Queen. Poison Spell already deployed. Royal Champion from the right side with a couple Baby Dragons as well. Rage the Royal Champion. Double Quake the Core. Double Quake the Core. Healer Puppet on the Queen. It's going to turn into a Queen Charge. That's an aggressive Rage and a half. Sneaky Goblins. Meet Giant Bomb. Lol. But the Yeti Mites will be able to help take out the Town Hall. Lalo from the top side with the Warren ability. Lalo from the left with a Haste and a Freeze. And another Freeze. Another Freeze in the middle. And all of a sudden, I was calling it slow. But this just turned into pure speed. What the heck happened? What felt like a slow setup just turned into their fastest attack of the match. Lol. Maybe uh, Fluxy and, and Arium need to switch to <laughs> Queen Charge or he Hero Dive Lalo. Let's go. That was actually a minute 21, minute 22 attack. Ayo, hey, nice job, Dark Star, dude. That Lalo was so quick. Leo with Root Riders and Super Barbarians. Let's see if VA Esports can keep their speed to the max. Here we go. Three skeleton spells, a jump spell, just like Max did. Skeleton spell, root riders, let's get it. Siege Barracks, he's dropping everything quick. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Queen on the left with another skelly spell and a wall breaker. Got a lot of wall breakers. Rage, ward ability, healing tome. What's he gonna do with these other wall breakers? I don't know. Ice Gold is coming out of the defensive clan castle. We got a jump spell, but no overgrowth. A lot of Teslas against the Queen. Uh-oh, she might actually be in trouble. Queen. Anna Skelton's trapped to distract her. Jump spell for the King with another wall break. Queen might be in big trouble, guys. Another skeleton spell. Ooh, he doesn't have a freeze. He doesn't have a freeze. He doesn't have a freeze. He used the last one on the monolith in the core. Frozen arrow for the win. Slow down to the town hall. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ooh, wee. He gets it. You lucky dog. Royal Champion on the right side with the Spirit Fox still healthy. Couple super 
minions from the Siege Barracks helping out, going to delete the core. There's the Tornado Trap spinning around the Barbarian King. Some more Super Barbs get that Expo. The Queen dead as heck. She died in the Giga Poison. Royal Champion pops the ability. Got the Haze Vial. She quick with it. Zooming across the map. Finds a Giant Bomb. Who cares? She gets over to the Monolith throwing 72 spears per second. Well, that haste file is active. It looks sketchy, but it still ends up being a super quick three star. Jeez. These guys are unstoppable. <laughs> GG. Synthi is in. And with a golden ticket on the line, this homie still wants to bring 33 hog riders. Even more with the royal champion ability. Maybe even more in his clan castle. Let's find out. Queen toward the town hall. King going in toward that scatter shot on the right. He needs to go for speed too, honestly. So he's already starting the hogs. Let's go. Let's go. He's not waiting at all. Grand Warren with the hoggies. Queen going for the town hall. She'll take that out. Got a healer puppet. Battle drills in on the right side of the base. King trying to fight those CC troops. We pop a ward ability. Send the road champion on the left. More hog riders over there to help out. I'm going to have to talk super fast to try to keep up with everything that's happening here. Zap Quake, but he does it super delayed. He missed that. Should he have been able to? No, he wouldn't have been able to hit that too. I'm crazy. Hoggies moving through with a healing spell. A freeze for the Warden statue. Why is Warden following the headhunters and not the hogs? That's some wonky AI. We got extra hogs from the Royal Champion ability. Let's go. What did he have in the... I think he had super hogs in the battle drill. Even more piggies. Even more piggies. Get through the middle section. It's a triple for sure. We're thinking about time though. Did this ice golem do anything? Yeah, I guess it distracted some stuff. Wizard on the right. Nobody's going for the core building, though. It's going to slow him down by a couple seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I want to see how many hog riders were actually in this attack. 86 second triple. GG. Beautiful attack from Mr. Synthi. 33 hogs. Then, what, 13 more in the RC ability? Something like that. Then, four super hogs. Let's go. Three rage spells and a jumping spell. This is their third attack in a row. They're doing a root riders with a jump spell for the Barb King. All right. This is Mr. Hades account. Okay. Jump spell allows the king to get in there and get some juicy value. Root riders from the bottom side of the base. We're going to go straight through an invis tower. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Siege Barracks utilized on the left side of the base. Is the queen with the Root Riders? Yes, she is. Got that bunny queen skin. Those bunny ears. Invis Tower goes off. Healing Tome. Royal Champ with the new stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Invis Tower wears off. No big deal. You can go right through it. Get the Town Hall. Make our way to the Monolith. Rage Spell is in. So we got a Royal Champion to deploy. Finally drops her. This one's already looking slower than all their other attacks. Uh-oh. Skeleton spell deployed. Got one more rage. Got a couple freezes. One minute already off the clock. There's the last rage. Got two headhunters. We're going to freeze on the left. Send some super barbs. Send super barbs all around. That's going to help out with the time for sure here. Just got to absolutely melt through the rest of the base. Pop the RC ability. Got the extra hogs coming out. Got the, 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 the spirit box to make her go invisible. It's crushed for sure. I say it was looking slow. But man, dude, the ending just finishes so quickly there. With the help of the super barbs on the back end, that makes a heck of a difference. It's still a pretty speedy attack. And we'll check out the averages now that it's 12 to 12, 138 to 122, 16 second difference on average across four attacks is what, 48 seconds plus or minus four? VM Minch. Final attack for VM Legacy. He needs pure speed. Speed, speed, speed. Drop everything. Close the app. Here we go. Queen on the left. Siege Barracks. Double Rage. Warren ability. Go, 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 go. It's already too slow. <laughs> I say that as he's literally spamming everything as quickly as he can. Overgrowth in the core. Triple Ice Golem CC. Drop the champion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Super Barbs on the backside already being deployed. King over there as well with a giant gauntlet making his way inside. Rage on the right. Got one more rage. Queen gets locked onto by the single. Does he notice? He's got the invis vial. The freeze was late. You just swagged your queen ability. Should have just popped the queen ability. Save the freeze for the core. You might need it. This core is about to be super toxic. He already popped the RC ability. He already popped every ability. All you have is a rage and a freeze to get through it. With the poison tower slowing you down. No king gauntlet. No RC ability. This is going to be uh, a little interesting. 
Nah, he's got it. Go, 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 go faster. Come on, go faster. Giga Poison about to slow him down for the last few seconds, though. That's a lot of damage. Oh, no. Giga Poison. RC drops. King drops. Phoenix ability. Gonna carry him through the attack, though, because the Queen might drop, too. Whew. Queen does drop. Jeez. That Giga Poison just slowed him down another 10 seconds. It was like an 84 second triple. And uh, I think Jesus only, well, he has to triple. That's the pressure. But he only has to do it faster than like two and a half minutes. Jesus is here to end the match with the final attack. He's got Lalo. He's got lightning spells. I think he only needs to triple faster than like roughly two and a half minutes. That's right around the area where it gets close. I don't want to calculate the exact time, though. That's for nerds like Hydro in the chat who says 238. Thank you, Mr. Big Head. Ice Golem, King, Queen, making their way inside. He did the zaps behind the town hall, took out the monolith, took out the Invis Tower as well. Whatever it was. King with another wall break. Going to go all the way to the town hall with the help of the Ice Golem. Might even be able to take out the champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Queen takes out the multi. Royal champion in on the top side of the base. And let's do the Lalo. King, Phoenix ability, clutches up the town hall. Here we go. Here we go. Minions in behind. Diggy on the Grand Warder. Poison Tower going to slow us down a little bit there. Triple Ice Golem CC going to the Royal Champion. We got the Poison Spell in. Queen's still vibing with ability and a healer puppet. She's going to get some good value. We pop the Warn ability. Got a healing dome. Need to haste our way out of that poison effect, though. Oh, uh, this Lalo is not looking the cleanest. Not going to lie. Got a Rage. We got a Freeze, but only two Balloons in the core, and they both go down. Ooh, Queen picks up that multi-archer tower. Balloons making their way to the bottom side of the base. Did anybody take out the defensive royal champion? Or the, never mind, that's a king. What the? Two hounds alive on the bottom side of the base. It's a little sloppy. He's got no spells left. We're gonna have to go back around for a scatter shot. Even if he does get it, the time is ticking. The time is ticking. He's only got about 60 seconds left to triple. And all these balloons might die. Warden takes a seeking air mine to the face. Lava Hound takes another Seeking Air Mine to the face. Multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Scatter Shot. Combo Wombo. About to hit all the balloons. Ooh, they got into the scatter. The multi's gonna go down. It's up to the Queen. It's up to the Queen. And she's taking five ever to get over there. Scatter Shot alive on one HP. Jesus. Not like this. Queen, you've beaten the goofiest wall in the world. Go beat a different one. She listened. <laughs> but still, not gonna have the time. Not gonna have the time. Wow, how the turns have tabled at the last second, brothers. At the last second, VA Esports had the lead. Oh gosh, she picks the worst possible wall. The absolute worst. If she went for this wall, she would have access to everything. Eight more seconds and it's technically game over. Boom. VM Legacy win. And it's, it's not actually going to be on time either because this is not going to be a triple. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now she picks the good wall. That's unfortunate. You have to admit, though, that Lala was sloppy, man. It was. It was. Queen makes her way through. This isn't even a time fail, dude. Scattershot would kill her. Scattershot would kill her 94% and VM Legacy stay in the upper bracket. VA Esports getting sent to the lower bracket. 15 to 14. And let's quickly check out some of these other scores before we end the video. I thought we were going to have the stats already pulled up here. They're actually delayed. They're delayed. We can straight up pull up the Warbot for Na'Vi. It ended up 15 to 15 for Na'Vi. And if you look at the average times, Navi had the better time. So they're staying in the upper bracket. And Agni Stars getting sent down.